Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last tutorials, uh, last tutorial, uh, two tutorials we were seeing at uh, how to use functions. And uh, in, the, in those programs, uh, we looked at how to define a function within the program and one outside the program and how to uh, call them properly. Now this is just an extension of it. In this, in this program, I mean in this video, we'll uh, write the definition of a function inside the program definition itself here the program def the function definition is inside the script inside the same script but outside the program definition here the function definition is outside the program and is separately in a new script okay and the only uh, the only other difference difference is that uh, difference is that in this program we will ex we will write a program uh, function definition for a new for a new variable that will be completely inside the program itself to write that okay what you have to do is that you have to indicate to the pro indicate to the compiler that you have defining something inside the compile inside the program for that what you need is that the, you need the statement called as keyword called as contains now what contains says is that it says to the compiler that this program contains literally contains something inside and what does it now na uh, what contains actually says is that uh, by default it says that there is something inside and what is inside what can be inside can be a function uh, can be a function or a subroutine as simple uh, only those now with this with this being said you can write we can write the definition for a new function now this new function will be will be um uh, will be the area area of a area of a rectangle area of a you know uh, rectangle now to make that happen what i do is that i put an and statement here and I write another and statement here uh, and i continue with the same continue with the same or a rectangle or a rectangle square or a triangle or a rectangle type s for a square and t for a triangle and r for i put an and here and continue that in the next line uh, and r for a tri a rectangle okay now i le let me just make a few more corrections to corrections here let me just copy this and repeat this again because it will be very simple similar if this were to be r and this were to be r okay now now i need the i need to enter the sides of the rectangle okay i need to enter the sides of the rectangle so this has to be l comma b let's say l, l comma b uh, uh, let's you know okay let me put it as l comma w and then i give this name rec rect okay i think some rec is um, some inbuilt function or inbuilt keyword i suppose so i just write l comma w here and then if you guys notice we have to we have to de declare declare rect and l comma w at the top since rect is an external variable we'll just define rect here and then l comma w here okay simple enough then now let's define the area for area area here now within this function here now real star 8 now function rect rect l comma w now end function rect okay now we write the implicit statement yeah implicit none and then real uh, star 8 where was it yeah real star 8 intent in to indicate that these variables are getting inside and will not be modified at the end of the program okay and then now I need a do I need another variable no I don't need now what I can do is that I can just type this type this okay and rect equals l star w simple as that okay now 
Now that's all you need, just for a quick compilation. Quick uh, compilation. You don't need. Uh, I get I get a warning like this. I get a warning like this. Let's see what the problem is. It says from the beginning that uh, procedure act as an explicit interface must not have uh, attributes declared at two. Okay. If that be okay. Now this uh, this means uh, this explains a lot. What does it mean is that if suppose if you were it well intuitively speaking when you're defining a function definition like this or like this which are outside the program you are giving the keyword external to indicate that these are you know these are uh, these definitions are outside the program. So we, the, exter the usage of external was legit but for rect since this is inside the program okay it does not need a uh, it does not need this external keyword because it, because the definition of this function rect is within the program it's the scope of this program so in, as a, because of which you don't need this keyword so if you have to compare this again I get a different uh, different error let's see uh, I get a different error what does it mean it just says that procedure rect uh, has an explicit uh, interface I think uh, I think if I, I don't even need this maybe let me just see yeah I don't yeah surprising this is something I didn't know of since I defi define function and everything within the program I don't even need to define that function here I thought I mean intuitively speaking uh, to be honest I didn't even I didn't even realize this but uh, but for surprisingly this is a learning experience for me too so uh, if it, suppose the, in the inference we get here is that suppose we have to define a function within the program we don't even need to de explicitly de we don't even exp need to explicitly mention it here the definition itself is implied implied though it's implicit none its definition is, uh, itself is implied now let's run this run the same thing here but before but first before we do this instead of just doing the same routine uh, routine four step method that we did on the top Okay, let's run this with the shell. Uh, run, run, let's run this in the shell method we did. That's like in the, one of the previous tutorials. Okay, I I write this as areas dot sh. I create a shell file with name areas dot sh. I save it, and then what I do is that I clear the screen, list all the files inside, list all the files inside. Now I remove all the files which have which have the extension dot o, extension dot exe. And then extension of dot uh, mod because in the because in the future files we might come across files which which, which have a definite which have an extension dot mod okay and then we f uh, list the files to see what's going on and then what I do is that I write g fortran underscore c and I have to uh, or else you know what I can just copy paste this stuff. Okay, I don't know whether this wor this worked or not. Okay, I'm being a little lazy here. Copy, Control V. Okay, and then now uh, let me just uh, let me just copy this again. Uh, didn't yeah it worked? And then finally let me just uh, copy this. Control C, paste this again, and in between I just I just list the files in between just to give an idea of what's going on, and then I list this file again, and then finally this is this should be th this should be too easy to run, and that's it that and that's it. Now this will give us an idea. Th now this will run the same thing. Now if I were to click LS. It will show me that there is this uh, areas of sh file at the bottom and it's in green, white, so it's not an executable to count. To make it executable, just like in the old tutorial, type chmod 777 area dot uh, areas dot sh. Nothing happens, but if you look, but if you list the file, it was in uh, green. So what I have to do is that I just have to type bash bash areas dot sh and do the same thing. Now this now let me give now uh, since we tested square and triangle last time let's check check for rectangle I give 
let me give uh, so it works fine so let me give a value 10 and then 5 should show me 50 yeah this uh, size uh, the area per square 50 okay I think I didn't write I didn't write it properly oh yeah 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 right the, uh, the sides are L comma W uh, the area area of the square is I wrote it as square uh, it should be rectangle now if you guys notice this properly now since I made this correction now I have to compile this file again and then build this file again and run this executable again now this, just for making corrections uh, you have to do this again and again so but to but the, but this shell script made our job much simple because we don't need to do that we don't need to do that all you have to do is just run this command once run this command once I'll take care of everything isn't it it just takes care of everything so let me give this uh, command r again the same in caps I give the same uh, parameters 10 and 5 and I calculate the value properly now if I run this uh, run this let me give a new type value called as f it just shows invalid option and terminating the program perfect now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial and this is how you guys define an uh, internal function an, in, an internal function without any uh, requirement for any external de external alt, uh, definition and all and this is how you guys run uh, function and all now in the in the future tutorials we'll be looking at some more uh, interesting examples of how to involve functions and subroutines and all subroutines and all and uh, we'll jump into subroutines quickly and uh, that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and see you guys next tutorial hope you guys learned something but from but honestly i learned something out of this experience i learned something out of this tutorial this this little thing that you can define a function within the keyword within the definition of a program without having to define it without having to declare it at the top thank that's all that's all i have that's all folks bye